Hello, my dears, Daniela here, and welcome to another episode of the Spa Marketing Made Easy podcast. Can you guys believe it is almost Halloween this year? I've, I just don't even have words. But if you guys have been following me on Insta stories, you know that we moved to a new home towards the end of August. Our property is two acres and most of that is wooded. It's so beautiful, but oh my gosh, the amount of leaves is completely insane. They are so beautiful. So, I mean, the reds, the yellows, the oranges, but oh my gosh, I'm so glad we have a leaf blower and that my daughter loves playing with the leaf blower in the leaves. But anyway, fall, it's a time of kind of winding down. We're coming towards the end of the year. And a journey that I've been on this whole year is with our Growth Factor students, Sarah and Melissa. So they started way back in January. They did their first episode. So they their commitment was that they were going to do an episode on our podcast every single month to give you guys a behind the scenes look of what it's like to be a Growth Factor student, what they're doing in their business, all the things. And we are coming to a close It's been so incredible. If you have not listened to the first episode with them, I would definitely recommend going back and doing that because it's just so incredible to see their journey, how they pivoted through COVID. And now on this episode, we are going to introduce a whole new division of their business, which I am super, super excited about. So We, on our last episode with them, we were talking about doing a branded photo shoot and how important that is and kind of left you with a little cliffhanger of like, what was that photo shoot for? Well, now you get to know my friends, we're going to unveil it in this episode. We're going to be talking about this new, exciting division of their company. So stay tuned for that. And in the next couple of months, we are going to be kind of wrapping up our journey with them. Our um, next, it's either next episode or one right after that, we're going to do kind of a recap of the year. We're going to look at their numbers from where they started to where they finished. It's really, really incredible to see what you can do in one year and what amount of growth you can have in one year. So Stay tuned for this episode. You're going to hear the new exciting part of their company and uh, be sure to listen in for their future episodes where we're doing the recap for the year. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and play that interview. All right, Sarah and Melissa, welcome back to the Spa Marketing Made Easy podcast. I have been waiting for this episode because last time we were talking, you were doing a branded photo shoot and we kind of left everybody hanging to find out like what the heck was the photo shoot for. And I am so excited. You guys launched your beauty collection. Me too. (laughs) This is so good. So something that I think is so just like in such alignment with you guys you started your business. If you go back and listen to the first episode that we did together and really every episode that we've done, you've talked so much about how you use different modalities in your treatments. And something that's really special about you guys is that you hit six figures in year one of your business. Now I know there's a lot of estheticians that are like, Hey, I want to do that too. Like that sounds good. Right. And one of the ways that you've done that on top of obviously like marketing really well, putting yourselves out there, but you look at numbers, you look at profitability and you've used a variety of modalities to have as upgrades, right? So you guys do, I know you do gua sha, right? What are some of the other? We do gua sha, we have our cryo sticks, we have microcurrent, um, we have galvanic, high frequency, hydrogelly, and we also have chemical peels and microdermabrasion, things of that nature. But really, um, what we focus on mainly is the cryo sticks and the gua sha and things that can also be implemented at home now. Yeah. So when you do those, what's really powerful about that is you're 
not only giving your client a better service, helping them reach their skincare goals faster. It's super relaxing. These cryo sticks, if you guys are watching the video, <laughs> hello, this has been me for the past week. I was like on the call before I was like, oh yeah, it's so good. So it's like good. Put people in trance. It's like the weirdest thing, but it's amazing. Well, I'm thinking, you know, like I'm a nursing mom, which means that I'm waking up minimum at midnight and four to pump, which pumping is no joke. Um, so you don't have the continuous sleep, right? And like my eyes get puffy. I'm 39. That means no Botox with nursing. No, you know, so it's like, it's getting real. So these cryo <laughs> Well, they must be working because literally I was, watch, I was watching a video of you the other day and I'm like, I think she got her Botox done. It's looking oh, really yeah. good. Your eyebrows are super sculpted. I'm like, wow, she's looking good. Mm-hmm. No, that is thanks to microbladed brows. Yeah. <laughs> microbladed brows. But yeah, no, I'm like, okay, once this kid is done nursing, I'm getting all the Botox in the world. <laughs> It's going to be great. Yeah. Just, just fill me up. Fill me up. But until then, cryo sticks. (laughs) No, but they are actually, they're so soothing and just the coolness under the eyes on the back of the neck. There's so many things about it that it just, it just calms you. It really does. There's something, and usually I'm such a warm weather person. I don't like cold at all, but this is just the right, it's not like so abrupt that it's just like, Oh, you know, it's, it's very soft and I love it. Ever since you guys sent these to me, they have been at my desk and they're like nonstop. This is how I talk to people on the phone. I love it. (laughs) Yes. So the great thing about the cryo sticks are that they naturally do stay cold. So Mm -hmm. if you are at your desk or even in the morning and like, you just need a little pick me up, you're not going to sit down and do a whole preparation prep with it. Um, they're cold. They're naturally cold. You can still reap the benefits of them. But if you did want to intensify the coldness within the, within the cryo sticks, you can actually put them in water with ice or put them in the freezer. And then it's really, really cold. Um, which we all know a lot of clients had to get actually used to it at our spa because we use a lot of cold therapy here. So whether it's the stones that stay cold, the rollers, we have rollers, they stay cold, the hydrogelly stay cold. A lot is geared towards actually cooler treatments opposed to warm. We do use warm towels, but there are some treatments that we don't. Um, So our clients actually had to start getting used to it, but once they realize the benefits of colder therapy, especially on your skin, they're completely hooked. But yeah, sometimes it's like, whoa, it kind of like takes your breath away. But once you see the results and actually experience the whole service, you're like, wow, that actually was so incredibly relaxing. My skin feels alive. It feels nourished. I feel the blood flow and the oxygen and I'm sculpted Mm -hmm. and beautiful. So it's amazing. From a business standpoint, what I love about it is that you, it's a win-win for everybody, right? It's a win for the client because they feel like they're getting a better service. The puffiness is reduced. There's a lot of good things there. It's a win for the business right? Because there's zero cost of treatment. You buy this, like you're buying the device, but it's, there's not consumables. And when we're looking at profit margins for your business, you know, a lot of people say, oh, like, how am I going to make this much more money? And I'm just going to calculate this real quick as we're talking, because if you do, let's just say that you do five upgrades a week, If you just did one a day, that's a hundred bucks a week. Well, I don't even have to calculate it. That's $5,200 a year that you're giving yourself a raise. And imagine if you can scale that, right. And you're doing instead of five treatments a week, if you did five treatments a day, five times that, right. That's $25,000. And then you brought it into retail. You're even profiting more. So you really can transition from the treatment room to retail because 
honestly, even if a client has these at home and they're using them on a daily basis, nothing feels as good as your esthetician doing them for you. So it doesn't stop that sale within the treatment room if a client has purchased. So I just want to put that out there because I feel like that's a really big concern of estheticians, business owners. Well, why would we offer this treatment if we're also retailing it? Because nothing feels as good as when your esthetician does it for you. And, and I think with, with tools and devices in general, they're a lot harder to sell when they're just on the shelf. But when someone has actually experienced them, that's why with like my skin buddy or like any of the different devices, you want to use it in the treatment room. And when you use it in the treatment room, it's like, oh, that's what that feels like. That's what that does, you know, and it just gives a whole different experience. But, you know, back to the profitability part, because I love to talk numbers and I also love leverage, right? We just quickly, it's like, if you do a $20 upgrade with your clients, you're not working more hours. You're not working, you know, you sell them the retail, like look at that raise that you've given yourself in that short amount of time. That's why I'm such a big fan of upgrades um, because you're increasing your revenue per hour. Right. And plus they work for every, there's not one skin type that doesn't benefit from this. So it's not excluding anybody. It's amazing if somebody has acne because the cold is going to soothe that area and it's not going to be too much. If somebody has sensitive skin, somebody's aging, somebody's dry or oily, it really post chemical peel. Absolutely phenomenal. So it was microderm. So you can, yeah, you can pair them with pretty much any service, which is And it's great for growth for profit for yourself because it really isn't excluding any particular skin type or condition whatsoever. I was just going to change track real quick because I wanted to, and you can throw in your comment, um, what you wanted to say, but I want to know the story behind this because you guys, you've always used modalities, Mm -hmm. right? But when did you make that switch that you're like, Hey, we want to wholesale these. We want to create this whole other division of our company to really help our industry in a different way. So I, I want to know that process, but if you need to do it, well, it actually goes hand in hand. So it's perfect. Okay. So basically bringing you back, you know, we're going into almost year two of our business. When we were a startup, Sarah and I, we started up with minimal funds, but all cash. So we really had to sit down and say, okay, what is going to give us the highest profitability at the lowest cost, right? So, and what's going to give the client an experience that they have not experienced ever before or nothing even close to us has. So we had to get super creative and that's where we started bringing in all of these modalities. Again, back to like what you were saying, like the revenue per treatment, you have to maximize your sales in every single treatment. And this is an amazing way to do so. It's definitely becoming more popular, the gua sha, the cryotherapy. Um, People are starting to be aware of it now. We've been using it again for two years. Um, But we realize that as it grows, we need to be ahead of the game as well. So now we know that estheticians are going to want to be implementing this into their business and clients are going to want to be re- to be purchasing them. So we wanted to be at the forefront of that. And, and also I think when people were home, a lot of people were forced to be home. We noticed that there was definitely, we've always wanted to retail something like this for our clients because we're very educational based at our spa. So we want them to be as educated as possible to help themselves while still meeting us. However, during the temporary shutdown, we did notice that there is a need for people to have something that is at home that can be beneficial to them. And tools seem to be the best thing because that's really what our business was based upon, just as Melissa had said. It's really that that's what made us different. And I think that, you know, we could have 
maybe eventually we'll have a skincare line, but I think that really that the cryo tools especially benefits everybody. And it just seemed like a perfect opportunity when we saw it as. And an there's option. zero liability, like zero exactly. incident rate. There's absolutely nothing that can go wrong with these. There's mm -hmm. nothing that can go wrong. So they will not shatter. They're not going to burn your skin. You're not going to become sensitized from them. They're not going to injure you in any, I mean, maybe if you like, you know, through the mess of one, but if you're using them the way that you're supposed to be using them, there's absolutely zero incident rate, which is something that we really strive for. We want to make sure that our clients and estheticians are safe within what they are using. Um, no guesswork either. Right. And they're very, very clean. They're very easy to clean, keep very disinfected. Sterile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, something that I love about both of you is that you really, we kind of share the belief a rising tide floats all boats. And I know that you do a lot to support estheticians in our community. You do a lot with the schools. You do a lot of training and education and mentoring and things like that. And so this just seemed like a natural next step for you guys to get into a space where, because for me, I want $100,000 in year one to be normal. I want that to be, and it can be, it really can be. And it, it's $400 a day, right? If you can do $400 a day, 50 weeks a year, working five days a week, you have a $100,000 business. So it, when you break it down like that, instead of thinking, oh my gosh, I could never hit six figures, you say, how can I do $400 today? Right. And even if you have only three clients coming in, all right, how can I maximize this client? How can I we never sell them anything that they don't need, right? We want to come at it from a place of service, but how can you maximize how you are going to help that person? So um, I love, love, love these as an upgrade. I love that you guys are moving in this direction. I think it's going to be such a huge benefit for our industry. Um, Tell our listeners about your Facebook group, how they can connect with you guys, if they want to learn more, if they want to open an account with you, like what are the next steps? So they can join our group and we'll just need to know you're an esthetician with your license number and whatnot. So it's Sykes and Lano Beauty for Professionals. That's our group on Facebook. And then if you wanted to message us directly, you can message us at support at sykesandlano.com. So and we'll include all that below for you guys. And um, really, we want you to just see Melissa has done such a phenomenal job at uploading everything so that you understand that we're here to teach you about how to use the tools, how to market them. It's just a lot of there's no guesswork involved. We want to make it as simplistic as possible. And we want to be, again, as you had stated, as supportive as possible, educational. And we've done the work. There's, there, we worked out all the kinks. We figured it out. We know, you know, the pitches. We know who it's good for, which is everybody. But like, we are here to, to support. Well, I loved, I loved the group because you guys already have stock photos you can use. You have trainings of how to do this. I mean, you've got everything, like all the support that you need for someone to be able to just jump right in and you know, get this part of their business going. And I feel like we put so much pride into how we treat our clients and in our business and our customer service there that we're able to just move it over into a different direction and be able to be there for estheticians the same exact way. And we all need somebody that's able to help us and mentor us. Like we are so grateful for you. But when you align with a business that you are purchasing from and to have that support, there's literally nothing greater. And we have many different product lines and we have phenomenal reps and literally the support that they provide. And even just 
like little packages and little notes and just things like that, knowing that someone else is cheering you on and helping you grow your business is just such an amazing feeling. And we want to be that Mm -hmm. for other estheticians. Like we want to see the spa industry. It's already doing phenomenal. We know that, but we know it can do that much better. Mm -hmm. And we truly, truly believe that by implementing this in, it can grow your business significantly. So we're excited to work with us. It's a no brainer. It's a no brainer, (laughs) ladies. So you guys go to the Facebook group, check out the beauty collection. Uh, especially these cryo tools, you're going to be like, oh, you'll be in between in your treatment room. Like (laughs) we're all going to be on a call together. (laughs) They're so good. But really, like if you're looking to work smarter and not harder, like here's your solution. You know, this is such a clear, easy way to boost revenue per hour in the treatment room. So, all right. Thank you, ladies, so much. Always lovely to catch up with you. And as always, if you want to keep the conversation going, you want to learn more about Sarah and Melissa, head over to the Spa Marketing Made Easy Facebook group. Go to their Sykes and Lano Professional Collection Facebook group. We've got the link below here. (laughs) I totally threw up the name. Whatever. (laughs) The link's below. Don't find us. Don't worry. Don't find us. (laughs) And we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks, guys.